The Philippines sits in the middle of the Western Pacific Ocean, with more than 7,000 islands, each adding something special to our big global family. Picture this. Clear blue seas, soft sandy beaches, and green mountains covered in trees. The Philippines is like a colorful painting full of amazing things to explore. Now imagine just for a little while, if this lovely group of islands was not there, what would happen? I'm going to talk about how things would change if the Philippines was not part of a world. The Philippines located in the Western Pacific Ocean acts like a shield against typhoons protecting nearby countries. With more than 7,000 islands, it acts as a barrier soaking up and spreading out the strong forces of typhoons before they hit other coastal areas. The special geography of the Philippines with its large areas of open water gives typhoons room to lose power by rubbing against the ocean. As typhoons move through the Philippines, they change in strength and structure because of the tricky interactions with the islands and the water around them. This process weakens typhoons, so they're not as harsh when they reach other places. Also, the Philippines has lots of mountains that help weaken typhoons. When these storms meet the rough mountains, the friction and disruption caused by the terrain can disrupt or interrupt the way the storms are organized. This interference makes the typhoons less strong, reducing the possible impact on nearby countries. In simple terms, the Philippines acts like a natural shield, taking the first hit from typhoons and making them less powerful before they reach other vulnerable coastal areas. The Philippines' role in reducing the impact of these strong storms shows how countries are connected in facing natural disasters. Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia could have seriously suffered. They could have been devastated by typhoons. Furthermore, the Philippines is a haven of natural wonders from pristine beaches to lush rainforests. Without its presence, the delicate balance of the global environment would be disrupted. The loss of biodiversity, unique ecosystems, and vital marine life would send shockwaves throughout the world. The Philippines is famous for providing lots of nurses all around the world, and more than 25% of all nurses in North America are from the Philippines. This is, isn't surprising because the country focuses on education, speaks English well, and values hard work. Things that make Filipino nurses great. But why is the Philippines the number one place for sending nurses around the world? The following are the reasons why Filipino nurses are preferred all over the world. Good education and training. The Philippines has strong schools that teach nursing really well. They cover a lot of important topics, making sure nurses are skilled in taking care of patients and handling different aspects of healthcare. English proficiency. Filipinos are good at English, which is crucial for nurses. It helps them communicate effectively with patients and healthcare teams, especially in English-speaking countries. This is vital for giving excellent patient care and making sure information is understood. Hard work values. Filipino culture believes in working hard, and this shows in the nursing field. Filipino nurses are known for their dedication, working long hours, and giving their best to their job. Their strong work ethic is appreciated globally, making them wanted in the healthcare industry. Affordable nursing education. 
Getting a nursing education in the Philippines doesn't cost as much as in other places, especially North America. This makes it appealing for those who want a great education in nursing without spending too much. It also means there are a lot of nurses available and they can work all over the world. Support from the government The Philippine government knows how important nursing is. They invest in education to keep it competitive globally. The government also gives perks to Filipino nurses. So without Filipino nurses, the aging population of Canada and many countries around the world could have seriously suffered. The Philippines is the world's main supplier of sea-based workers since 1987, making the country the manning capital of the world. Around 300,000 Filipino workers are on board merchant shipping vessels around the world at any given time. Overall, Filipino sea-based workers comprise more than 25% of 1.5 million miners worldwide, thus becoming the single biggest nationality block in the shipping industry. It's no surprise that Filipino seafarers have made a mark in the maritime industry. The Philippines itself is an archipelago with local seafarers voyaging long before the Spanish colonizers arrived in the Philippines. But the surge in the number of Filipino sea-based workers happened during the oil crisis in the 1970s, when the world could no longer afford Western crews. The need for seafarers has drawn Filipinos in the underprivileged provinces of the Philippines to enroll in the local maritime schools. The Philippines continues to become the primary source of sea-based workers in the global shipping and transport market providing manpower for tankers and sea vessels from other countries around the world, especially Japan, America, Panama, Liberia, Cyprus, Greece, Malta, Singapore, Norway, and Germany. Imagine what would happen to the shipping industry if Filipino seafarers did not exist. The Philippines is the second largest producer of coconut products in the world, next to only Indonesia. The Davao region in the Philippines is the top coconut producer which contributed 14% to the country's total coconut production for the year 2018. As such, the coconut industry is also one of the major sources of employment generation in the Philippines. Coconut-based products have displayed a solid global export growth brought about by the rising global demand. Major Philippine traditional coconut products include coconut oil, desiccated coconut, coconut shell charcoal, and activated carbon. It's not surprising, therefore, that in the Philippines, coconut is a staple ingredient and widely used in Filipino cuisine, from appetizers to the main dish to desserts. The Philippines also exports to major markets non-food coconut products. Canada's agri-food and seafood imports from the Philippines were valued at 148 million US dollars. The top three agri-food and seafood commodities imported by Canada from the Philippines include coconut oil, desiccated coconuts, and bakery products. Philippine coconut trees are not just about coconuts. They provide habitats for various species, contributing to biodiversity. A world without these trees would mean losing more than just a source of fruit. It would disrupt ecosystems. Over the past decades, the Philippines has been known as the world's largest supplier of overseas workers. Filipinos are highly skilled and willing to work in various fields, including healthcare, engineering, education, and domestic work. Among these fields, domestic helpers remain one of the most important jobs for Filipinos overseas. Many families in different parts of the world rely on Filipino domestic workers for their household needs. But why are Filipino domestic helpers preferable to other domestic helpers from around the world? Reliability. Filipino domestic helpers are known for their exceptional reliability. They are well trained in handling household chores such as cooking, cleaning, and childcare. They are also known for their excellent work ethics, which makes them highly reliable. Adaptability Filipinos are known for their flexibility and adaptability. They can easily adapt to different cultures and environments, 
which makes them highly suitable for working in foreign households. They can communicate well in English, which is widely spoken in many countries, making it easier for them to work and communicate with their employers. Affordability. Compared to domestic helpers from other countries, Filipino domestic helpers are affordable. They are willing to work for lower wages, making them an attractive option for families who can afford to hire local domestic helpers. Following are countries that need domestic workers. 1. Saudi Arabia Saudi Arabia is one of the largest employers of Filipino domestic helpers. Many Saudi households rely on Filipinos for their household needs, especially childcare. However, the working conditions and treatment of domestic helpers in Saudi Arabia have been a cause for concern. So the Philippine government implemented measures to protect the rights of Filipino workers. UAE The UAE is another country that relies heavily on Filipino domestic helpers. The demand for domestic helpers in the UAE is high, particularly in Dubai. Singapore Singapore is known for its strict regulations regarding the employment of domestic workers. However, many households still rely on Filipino domestic helpers for their household needs. Singapore is a great option for domestic helpers who are looking for higher salaries and better working conditions. And not to mention, Singapore is a Southeast Asian country. It's close to the Philippines. When we think about a world without the Philippines, we understand how all countries are connected. Whether a country is big or small, each adds something important to our big world family. The Philippines is not just a bunch of islands, it's a crucial part of the world we all live in. What other impacts would the absence of the Philippines have on the world?